Okay, so I have gone ahead and spread apart the armature for this next part. So we're going to save the legs for last. So they're in a really awkward position, but we're going to focus on the um, engine area right now. So we're going to start with these two parts here. So you've got two pins here, and you've got two pin indentions here. So we're going to line up these two parts and they're going to intersect and you can just barely see just like that and this press that's going to get them all square and that's what we need to glue so we're going to go ahead and prepare our glue and create a sandwich of these two pieces So let's get these installed. Just like that. So if I wiggle my thumbs back and forth, you can see that it's not moving as I'm pressing backwards and forwards. That means I've got my two pins inside those indentions. Now I'm pressing it flat. So that makes sure that if there's any type of bending, I'm making sure that that is now straightened out between the two parts. And because this is super glue, it will bond, but you're gonna have to wait a little bit. All right, guys, so we've got this lined up. And basically on the piece underneath, you've got cylinders. On the piece on the outside, you've got cylinder heads. Underneath those cylinder heads line up, so when you're putting, when you're gluing this in, you can actually see them here in this gap. So just put glue in these cylinder heads on both sides and line those up. There's no like locking groove to tell you when to stop. So you're just going to have to press it into place. On my piece of plastic, there is about a half a millimeter of bending on this bottom part, or this part needed to be bent outward just a little bit. There's just a very slight warpage. So when you put this part onto the model, you're going to clamp it into place to glue it. So we'll go over that when the time comes and this actually goes, I like this. So get this put in place, get some glue. You're just gonna have to hold it there for a couple of minutes until it's nice and solid, but that's how you get this to float so that you don't accidentally take this bottom part and press it too far on the inside while you're trying to hold on to these two pins. So that's the easiest way to deal with that. Next, we're going to take this piece, which is a very rare piece off of the Porsche, and we're going to pop off its little pin. And then we're going to sand that flat real quick, just like that. And then that is going to get glued right here. Now, where it gets glued, you're going to go one, two cylinders forward, and then into the triangular groove, and then in the middle of this rectangular piece. So let's go ahead and grab some super glue. Put it on the bottom here, 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 and here. And then I'm just going to press it into place just like that. And then your back cap just goes yeah, there like this. So that's where that Intex piece goes. So you're all done there. So this module again can sit. Next, we've got the underside. We're going to grab 
some of our heavy duty glue. We're going to put some on the back here, put some on our pin. And then this piece is just going to slide right up here. And then just wipe off any excess that you see. And you can just leave that to dry. Now, this piece here just gets centered. So this part and this part are going to go flush and centered. Sorry, backwards. This part and this part, this gets flush. So you're just going to mount this flat and it's just going to get flush mounted. So we've got a lot of surface area to glue to is great. So there you go. Now, if you have any of that slight warpage, go ahead and look at it from the back and see if you do. And if you do, you can take a C clamp or you can take some tape or even some spring clamps and just put some foam on top or something soft so that you don't damage anything and then just clamp this in place. So we're gonna go ahead and cut and drop a clamp or two on this. And then the only last part for the main parts of the body are gonna be dropping this in place you can save this for later, but this is just going to go right over the back and it just slides in place. You can see how that slides and it just fits all the way up nice and tight. Just like that. So that's our next module. Now we've got all of our detail parts and we'll put the detail parts on as soon as this piece is secure. So we'll move on to the next part right after this. So what we did previously was put parts on the body using the Gorilla adhesive. Let me wipe this off real quick. So this adhesive is gonna take about 24 hours to dry. So you're gonna to have to do this in stages and then let this glue dry. Otherwise some of the pieces will start to move around. So that's just something to pay attention to and just use your own best judgment for that. We're going to use some miniature clamps. These do not have a tremendous amount of pressure, but they do have a good spring tension. And this is just to make sure if any of these parts want to spring up or if there's any slight bends in any parts as we press them against the metal surface, we can clamp them down. So I'm gonna keep these handy and we're just gonna pay attention to that as we apply these parts to the leg. Now, if we look at these parts, I have laid them out in their generalized positions, and we're just gonna start from the top and then work our way down. Most of these will use the clear grip Gorilla adhesive, and then for any parts that are plastic on plastic, we will still be using our Instacure, just regular CA glue. So aside from that, all these pieces are set up. This is the number 17, so be aware of that. The foot we're going to use as a guide. We are not going to glue the foot in place. We want to make sure that the holes are open so that we can actually use a pen or pencil to mark on our base where the foot is going to be, especially whichever foot is going to have any screws in it. And if you were to glue your foot in place, then there's no way that you're going to be able to mark where those holes are. So leave your foot unglued. Okay, now let's go back and get started. So this piece right here just fits right over the top. So we're just gonna grab 
some glue and we're just going to put it on this surface here. I'm just using a throwaway brush. to apply that glue. One good thing about this glue is that when it, once it is fully cured, if you do have any glue that has pressed out of position and you can see it, that glue is super easy to scrape off. So you won't have any residue left over. So even if you see like, I've got a little bit of glue on this surface, you can just let that dry and then you can go ahead and clean that surface off after it is completely dried. It creates a nice bond, but it is a slightly flexible bond and it creates a slightly rubberized surface. So now that that is in place, we're gonna go ahead and apply this bottom section. So I'm gonna squeeze some glue out onto a little, just anything. You could use a card or anything like that. And then we're just going to apply this here. And then you just want to look at this from profile view. And make sure that you're nice and centered. There we go. Okay, now we've got a plastic on plastic connection. We've got this piece, and it's just going to pop in place like this. It faces upwards. So let's go ahead and apply some regular CA glue just around the outside of the square. We'll pop that into place and just hold it there for a couple of seconds. There is a little nub right here on the inside. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just clean that off so that it's nice and flush. All right, so you can see I just did a very slow clip with larger flush shears. If you're gonna do that, do not do it quickly. But now it's nice and flush. And then we're just gonna take this piece. You've got a large surface here and you've got a large surface here. That's the spot that we're gonna glue to. There you go. Now as you're stacking pieces, just be aware you might shift some parts around. So always go back and check. So remember this is not super glue, so it's completely movable. 
So always double check. Now we're going to grab this little guy while we still have room. Oop. Don't want to put a big dollop on there. Let's get that guy into position. Okay. Now we've got this guy. This is a bit of a floater. So there's a section right here inside this ring. You can put some glue. And then here, where this little dot is, this is going to press against here and line up. You can see how it lines up with this pole. So those are your two glue points. So we're going to put some glue right there. And then we're going to put some glue right here. just like that. Now this little guy is just plastic on plastic and it's gonna go in this rectangular groove. There we go. There it is. Okay, now don't put it on backwards. Okay, so there's your top section. Now on this part, this is going to go evenly spaced back here. But because we've glued so many parts, we're going to go ahead and probably put some clamps up here. I'm going to do that off camera, then I'll show you where I put them. And then we're just going to leave this to sit, and then we'll do this afterwards. Okay, moving on. So now we've got our little middle section here. So this one's pretty simple. We're just going to apply some glue. And then this guy's just going to slide up in here. And you're just going to align that with the back. So the back edge to back edge. So be careful when you're pressing if you've got those clamps on. Then on this one, I'm going to drop a little bit of glue. Here. This is going to go right over that silver screw. There you go. So moving on down. Now we've got our number 17 piece. We're just going to put glue on the back half. If you want to put some extra glue on here, just put it on one side. Because you don't want to glue all the way across your crack. And then the very point of this is going to be level with 
the back part of the screw and then just evenly float it. And again, don't worry if there's any glue that sticks out, you can scrape it off with a knife afterwards. So there's that. Now, we're going to put this into position. This is our little cap that goes over our oops, long thing. This little cap goes over the square joint. Of the ankle. And then we're going to reposition it based upon where the foot lies. So let's go ahead and slide our foot in place. So we'll stand this guy up. Uh, it looks like I nailed it first time. So I'm just making sure that it's just not touching. Okay, so now that that's all in place, you can go back through while this glue is still wet, and let's just clamp anything that needs to be clamped. And just get everything nice and even and positioned exactly where you want it. And there you go. So now you're going to want to let this sit for 24 hours and fully cure. And then we can go back in, remove any excess glue, and then we'll drop this piece when we start the next leg. So that's how we catty corner this. So that's that section. Okay, guys, we're going to continue on the head here. And we're going to do one of the special features of the metal armature and metal parts, and that is we did this very cool aluminum roof rack. And not only did we do the roof rack itself, but we did all of the hooks that went with that roof rack. When we went through our prototype stage, we realized that this was probably the most injury prone part of the entire model. This part broke more often than any other part. So we wanted to make sure that on our model, there was no way that this part would break. Now, of course, you can still pop it off the hooks, but your hooks aren't gonna snap. This part's not gonna snap. So I wanna go through the installation process of this. So I've put our clear grip Gorilla glue into a little cup. We're gonna take our hooks, the big hooks, go with the open side facing in on both sides and then the multitude of rivets there's five rivets they face forward and then they are placed in front of the expanded nub okay and that's going to be the same for the back so the smaller hooks the hook part faces in and it goes in front of the nub so let's go ahead and put some glue. And just a reminder, while it is beneficial to be as precise as you can, you don't have to be 
insanely precise with your gluing because you can remove the glue afterwards. So I'm applying the glue and then I'm using my finger to actually push that glue up against the hook. There we go. Okay. Now, we're just going to grab some regular old super glue. No point in trying to make anything on this part incredibly rock solid, just in case you bump it. And there you have it, pretty easy. So then once this completely dries, then we can go back and you can just do a little bit of scraping. If you see any glue residue that you don't like, you can just scrape that off, it'll be a little bit rubberized. Just do that with a knife. And then you're ready for paint on that. So the next step on this guy is gonna be uh, doing some pre-assembly on this missile uh, gun ear thing. And then that will be left as its own module. We will not attach that. We can paint that first and then install that at the very end. So your head is now basically done except for attaching the bottom, which we can also save for later on. So you're looking at your three main modules. And then we've got this section here. I just dropped my barrel on the ground, but I'll grab it. So aside from your metal barrel, this is the piece, the section that goes here, and we'll go over this one in the next video.